In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a paper tear effect in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've downloaded this image from the unsplash.com. And when I click, this will get teared from the center and then the, the monochrome or grayscale uh, image will appear. So when I click, you can see here, it looks something like this. All right, so I've added one more uh, image where you can see here this particular person when I click, the same effect also I have created so you can add some text uh, depending on the requirement please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and insert any image of your choice. In this case, I have uh, inserted these two images uh, from the unsplash.com. So you can use your own image as well. So I'm going to choose one image. So let me just choose this particular image. All right. And then the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to uh, copy or uh, spread this image throughout the slide. Okay. Okay. To fit the slide. The problem is if I do that one, if I drag it, you can see here it is going outside of this area or if i just drag like this it becomes too stretch okay so this is not the right way to do that one to do the right way what you need to do is you need you need to go to the picture format crop aspect ratio select 16 is to 9 all right and you can see here only this part will be visible so i'm going to keep only this part and click outside and now i'm going to select the image and drag the image and you can see here the full image has been copied to the slide the next thing i would like to do is to add a kind of a tear paper uh, effect uh, for that go to the insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this freeform scribble select the scribble just keep it somewhat outside so for example i would like to uh, highlight this uh, area of the eyes okay and then i would like to make this as a, a, a monochrome or a grayscale okay so i'm just going to highlight you can just see here you just make it straight you cannot make the straight because it is a scribble so anyway let's keep it you can just make a zigzag maybe a little bit all right and then bring it down and then i'm going to take it till here so some part of the nose I'm going to cover. All right, you can see here. And then join this one. All right, so this has been joined. The next thing which I would like to do is I would make this as a shape outline, make it as a no outline, all right? And then right mouse click, go to the format shape here i'm going to insert the image which image the image which you have added in the background to do that one what you can do is select this select the image first Control c to copy select this shape come to the picture or texture fill and click on the clipboard you can see here the image has been copied but you can see here now we have to adjust the image so that it should fit you know as per the background okay for that bring the cursor down this rotate with shape until this one and you can see some offset bottom offset top right properties okay so now what i'm going to do is offset bottom i'm going to drag this here you can see here and then offset top i'm going to increase the top it should not feel that we are you know the there are two different images that's how the you can see here almost we are through and i have to make it somewhat i believe this is a, a time consuming process but once done it's done so you can see here it's almost done there are two images here actually you can see here it should look something like this all right once this is done i'm going to give some shadow effect you can give uh, some shadow effect here or you can give some shadow effect uh, at the time of adding some more shapes also so anyway the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one go to the picture format you can see here the color and I'm going to select the grayscale here you can see here it becomes a grayscale all right only this part then go to the insert shapes from the lines I'm going to select the scribble again 
now the scribble it should look like a kind of a paper you know it has been not tear properly when you tear the paper how it looks you have to make the same kind of the effect so i'm just going to drag this one when you some up some down you have to just make it like this and then go straight and then join this one shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and send this to back so you can see here the effect all right and press ctrl d to duplicate rotate it flip vertical bring this down all right and send this to back you can rotate a little bit like this and move it up all right so you can see here or you can just right mouse click edit points you can just adjust so this is a time consuming process so instead we can follow the same thing go to insert shapes i'm going to select the scribble now the scribble has to be uh, like this you can see here some up some down you know you have to just make it yeah so you can see here how i'm scribbling and then join this one again white shape outline no outline send this to back so you can see here it looks like this is uh, you know it has been ripped and then the the image of the monochrome is visible and here you can just give some shadow effect you can see here here also you can give a shadow effect which is the shadow of top and then to give a folding paper effect go to insert shape again i'm going to select this scribble draw a scribble here somewhat something like this all right and shape outline no outline i'm going to select the gradient fill here gradient fill i'm going to use first one is somewhat dark color and the direction i'm going to choose this and here also i'm going to choose some dark color and here i'm going to choose some light gray color all right so it looks something kind of a paper has been here and then press ctrl d reduce the size bring it somewhat down and send back so you can see here it got folded effect like that so now here i'm going to select this one and you can give some shadow effect towards the right and increase the distance so you can see here it looks something like this and for here also you can give the shadow effect again i'm going to give the shadow effect which is this one and increase the size all right so you can see here it looks something like this and for this i'm going to select and i can just press ctrl g to group it all right so this is the simplest way if you see here this is how the slide looks as if this was teared from the center now let's give some animation so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape this one and this one by holding the shift key press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one shape like this okay so now what i would like to do is i can just go to the animations enable the animation pane and maybe i can give a wipe effect wipe effect i'm going to make it from right so you can see here it looks like this and double click that one and timings you can make it fast slow medium or whatever and click ok so you can see here it looks something like this and this one you know i'm going to bring it here and i'm going to make it you know move like this so that you know it has to move along with this all right so for this i'm going to add the animation make it somewhat outside add animation i'm going to make it the line all right line effect i'm going to make it to the left all right so it should come like this and it should stop here at this place sorry it should stop here all right something like this here so now this also should happen with previous and it has to be have given the same space so i'm going to remove this one timings let it be medium and let's see how it looks so both has to come together you can see here it is somewhat it's fast here okay this is somewhat fast so maybe i have to just uh, reduce the size so let me just reduce it to medium i'm going to make it 
sorry somewhat slow and click ok and now if i make it slow you can see here we have to just adjust the timings here okay so it has to be delay a little bit and then it has to start so we have to just see how we can do it you can see here almost so this is how it looks like when you do the animation effect